Glencore is handing its top job over to a new leader, naming Gary Nagel, current head of its coal division, as CEO. Nagel will replace Ivan Glassenberg early next year. The Swiss company also revealed a plan to reach net zero emissions by 2050 and said it would cap coal production and focus on investing in metals considered vital for the transition to a lower carbon world. Lithium-ion battery cell prices have fallen over the last six years, but battery supply chain specialist Benchmark Mineral Intelligence warns car makers that the price decline won't continue indefinitely. Benchmark estimates lithium supply has to double every four to five years to meet demand. Needed cobalt, graphite and nickel supply has a similar magnitude, but current prices do not provide incentive for new mining projects. Talk of a mining super cycle is back as copper and iron ore prices surged to seven-year highs. The copper price soared after Chinese data showed expanding manufacturing and construction activities. Iron ore prices surged as unprecedented demand from China, constrained supply from Brazil, and strained relations between Canberra and Beijing convulsed the seaborne market. The European Union is seeking to secure access to 30 critical raw materials through an initiative to increase domestic production and promote recycling of vital elements, particularly rare earths. The European Raw Materials Alliance, a partnership of over 300 companies and governments, will focus on breaking Europe's dependence on rare earth imports from China.